I have an unboxing for you. Hey everyone, it's Ian Maneri and I have an unboxing for you. I never have an unboxing. This is so exciting. I have an unboxing to show you and to share with you from Faber-Castell. Has anyone else gotten these? This is the Faber-Castell Art and Graphic Try It box. And I cannot, I was, I was so excited when FedEx delivered it today that I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I did slice it open so that we could, um, so I wouldn't be using a razor blade while I was on camera. So I did slice that open, but it's really cool. It was like 30 bucks and I had a coupon. I think the coupon code was try it. I'm not even sure, but I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a paid video from Faber-Castell. Although shout out to Faber-Castell if you'd like to send me more stuff. Um, that would be super. And um, I paid for this. So Faber-Castell is one of my all time favorite products. So of course, let's talk about as I open up the box, I say to myself, if you had smell-o-vision, you would love it. Because it smells like an art supply store. And it's my favorite smell. Anybody else have that as a, as a thing? Let's see what's in here. A lot, a lot, a lot of cool goodies. And of course, I should have a piece of paper with me so we can test out the goodies. So I'll put a piece of paper next to me. All right, let's talk about the very first thing. Very first thing that there is in this box is Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura Watercolor Marker. This color is warm gray. It's a duo tip marker. One side is a uh, watercolor. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Let's see if we can have some fun with it. Just kind of do like a little bit of a, a blurb. We'll do have some fun with these little things right here. Just kind of a little bit of a blurb there. And then the other side is a a smaller tip but I did notice I am noticing too as I'm using this that it's lighter it's a lighter color than this one so that is fun so there's our um, Faber-Castell Albert Durer watercolor marker warm gray I don't know if everybody gets the same color they must right everyone must get the same color then it also comes with which I use these to draw with a lot something's under here though what is under here Oh, here's another one. Oh my goodness, this too. Okay. Faber, I'll leave this over here. Faber Castell uh, Pit Artist Pen Brush. This is black. This is brush tip. And I have used these to draw with before. See how it has kind of like a, you can kind of flick it up so it come, it gives you a different style. Uh, different line weight style line weight but see how it has that on there it has like a brush tip you could definitely um, do some calligraphy with it there's a B uh, there's my O see how it has the line a T so you could definitely play around with that that's a brush tip marker that's very very cool I don't really usually draw with the brush tip this one is a Pitt Artist Pen Fine Liner. Let's see what size this is. Oh, 0 0.1. Oh, this is way too, way too skinny for me. 0 0.1. Can you see that? Can you see that? That is a tiny, 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 tiny tip. Let's see what we can draw with this one. That is very, very, very tiny. Very tiny. Thin, thin, thin lines. You know, when I'm drawing a coloring book, though, I usually uh, change the line weight in the computer. So I guess it really wouldn't make a difference. But what would bother me about this is that I would have to be very, very careful. So I wouldn't use it for that. I would have to be very selective with what I used it for. But this is all the same. This comes in different weights. This is um, XS, so I guess like extra small. Um, 0 0.1 so that one's fun good to have that one appreciate that one then we have a uh, pit graphite matte pen it's a 2b so again oh this is a good drawing pen nice soft lead um, it's got it says matte I mean I'm assuming it's definitely a different little bit a different bit of a more of a sketching pen I don't know what that was that just fell more of a sketching pen that one's kind of cool then this one is a 2B, uh, just a 2B, Faber-Castell. This is, seems like it has a harder point, a harder lead. I can just tell by looking at it. I don't know if you can see the difference between the two, but you can definitely see uh, 
well yeah you can see like the the difference between the two of them this also comes with a pencil sharpener um and i don't usually use a pencil sharpener like this but let's give it a go and you know it's all about that blade and people don't realize that that blade can be replaced oh not bad people have um there's controversy or there's uh uh, some people say that you should turn the pencil. Other people say you should turn the sharpener. What, what camp are you in? I, I turn the pencil. Then we have an eraser. Now, this is this is like a um, a white eraser, like a, I call it the Stadler right? white eraser. But it's a triangle and it's red. I've always wanted an eraser like this. Let's see how it does. What this does is it doesn't leave any more eraser marks. This is good for erasing colored pencil. So there's my eraser. I'm going to put it back in its little package. Sometimes I think I treat my uh, my art supplies uh, better than I treat my clothing. <laughs> no, I fold my clothes, but still. Then it came with um, three polychromo. Oh, I have polychromos. It came with blue, yellow, and red. And it's they're each uh, named, does this have a name? This is Scarlet. Oh, just like my dog. Cobalt blue and light cadmium yellow. Just give them just a little bit of a swatch there. There's my yellow. Why did it come with those? only these three, right? Primary colors. You can make any color with this. So I could go back over with that yellow and I could continue on. Look at that. Very, very nice. Just like I expected. I have polychromos. I love them. Are you a polychromo? Uh polychromo person a polychromo a fan of polychromo pencils uh this one is a watercolor pencil albert durer this is red do i have any paint with me i mean any water i do see how that works oh amazing look at that you know what when you use a watercolor pencil what you really want to happen is you don't want to see the the uh you don't want to see the pencil see this right here you want that to completely uh, become part of the transition of all of it. So this is what is in this box for those. Now, the other thing it came with is some paper. What is this? Let's see what this is. This, let's see what it says. It's time to rethink everything. Well, can't agree with that more. Stonehenge Aqua Black is the first 100% cotton black, co co black side back black paper size for watercolor now sized what does that mean right there sized um some people just think it's the right size when you use watercolor paper you need to size it and what that means is that you need to make it so it reminds me of like when you shrink your clothes you need if you use paper and you're using watercolor pencils or watercolor paint or it gets wet then you might notice that it'll buckle and what you want to do is size it and you want to just kind of wet it so this is already sized. It's already have had has had the, the the treatment as they say. Oh wow, look at this. If you could only feel it. I'm going to have to use something on this. I don't have anything to use on this right now. Um and I don't want to get it messy because I want to I'm going to have to rethink or think about what type of projects I'm going to do with these with these papers. Um but this comes in a pad. So this is really, really smart of you, Faber-Castell, to uh, come out with this, such a box. Because now I want to buy, well, this race is going to last me a long time. But now I definitely want to buy uh, this paper. And I really am interested more in these, um, these watercolor pencils. So I may be buying some of those. And I have some polychromos that I don't need to replace right now. But as far as these drawing pencils, well, I always usually use either Duane drawing pencils or Faber-Castell. So I think I might have some of those. But these markers have attracted me. So I may be looking at those. So pretty clever, Faber-Castell. Good way to get everybody to want to try your stuff. Printing companies do this. If you want to have stuff printed, you can get uh, samples of paper. I do that sometimes. Uh, so this one has three different pieces of paper in it. This one is a 140 pound aqua cold press. This is called Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. You can kind of hear it. Then this one is another 140 pound, but this is um, aqua hot press. All right, let's talk about the difference between cold and hot. Cold press paper has more of a tooth to it or a grittiness to it or a texture to when you feel it. And uh, hot press is smoother. So that's the best, expl best ex explanation I can give you without having you feel it. 
And this one is a 300 pound cold press. So remember, we just said cold press has more of a tooth to it, a texture, a roughness to it. And this one is really, really thick. So is it twice is this? Yes, it is. So if you took 140 and 140 and you put them together back to back, I mean, it, that's not like the technical way of thinking of it. But yes, it's a, um, got a good thickness to it. I'm not going to break out like the the calipers or anything and try to uh, measure it. But yeah, that this is the paper. This is really cool. I would definitely um, be interested in trying each one of these 140 pounds, maybe even the 300s. I'm not sure. Sure, why not? I'll just want to try them all. Paper Castell, if you're listening to me, I would love to try more. <laughs> I would love to try more stuff. Hashtag Faber Castell. Send more stuff. Hashtag Faber Castell. Send more stuff. Right? I know that's not how you use a hashtag. I know. Let me see if I can get it back in here without having to rip this, which I already did. <gasps> see, if this was a pair of pants, I wouldn't care. But paper. Whew. Gotta make sure it's okay. All right. So there, there is my paper. Went right back in. Let's see what else is in here. Um, what is this? Oh, it's like a little booklet. Oh, it's the book. It's a product catalog. Oh, this is very cool. I mean, obviously not an art supply, but it's nice to have this on hand. Maybe you want to know about different things. Oh, there's the same sustainability carbon neutral company. Good to know. Good to know. Um, art and graphic. Um, Quote by Vincent Van Gogh. I meant to tell you about some pencils I've discovered made by Faber. They're this thick, very soft, and of superior quality to carpenter's pencils. Vincent Van Gogh said this in a letter to the Dutch painter uh, Anton van Rappen. Now, you may think to yourself, this is not real. It is. You want to know why? Look at this. the cover of this box. This Faber-Castell has been around since 1761. This is a company that has been around for a long time. Almost, how many years? 400 years? Is that what it is? Or five? 1700, 1800, 1900, 2000, 2021. Oh my goodness, I can't do the math. Somebody do the math. Polychromos. Then there is different some examples. This is a really nice resource, actually. Uh, Albert Durham watercolors. Again, oh, I definitely want these. Um, this is also an expensive, these are expensive products. So um, now, let me say this. I love these, but I, I don't, I'm not really all about that you have to have an expensive product to be able to color or to create something. So I just want to make sure that I add that caveat. Um, nice uh, nice selection of colors for the watercolor markers. That was this one right here, this gray one. Um, and I'm sure if I use them with water rather than what I just did, I would probably, I would definitely be able to get that type of effect there. Uh, the pit pens, incredible, drawing an illustration there. Different colors, examples of uses, very nice. Pit pens come in white also. Good to know. They didn't have always had those in white. I think they just came out with gray too. Pretty sure. Um, pastel pencils. Oh, I do not have these. Oh my goodness. Okay. Graphite. Again, there's an example. There's a, a, a sample pencil in here for graphite. Look at that. And I can see how you can draw with that graphite pencil. Um, goes over all of the difference between the B's, all of the numbers, what they mean. Um, it talks about, um, pit matte or glossy. Interesting. It gives you an example. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to read the book to you. I don't know. I think this is still available. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm so glad. Thank you to the people who sent this to me to tell me about it. Um, a couple of people did. Sandra sent me this this information and somebody else I don't remember who else sent me this and I kept saying no 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 and then they sent me a coupon pit oil base these are monochrome artist pastels oh these are like duet drawing pencils I bet mm -hmm. yep 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 they are and they are just like um, a Conti crayon wow look at that set that's a nice set right there 
it's in there. That is a very, very nice set. Very nice, very nice. Needed erasers, dust-free erasers, eraser pencils, more pencil sharpeners. I actually have this one right here, the silver one, if you can see it. I, I, I'm not going to try, I'm not going to, I mean, let's ignore the fact that I've had it, that I am old enough to have it for 20, for 30 years, but I've had it for 30 years. Actually, I think I've had it for 40 years, believe it or not. Um, and I, I still have it somewhere. I don't use it all the time, but I do have it. Here's more um, information here on polychromos, watercolor, pit. I guess this fish was drawn with all of them. And then, oh, look at this. This gives you an entire uh, color chart at the back. Nice. Again, another color chart at the back. Now, what's nice about this is that if you, I mean, it's kind of hard to read because it's tiny, tiny. And I probably need to really kind of like get in a better light here. But it gives you the name of the of the, the brand of the name of the type, the, the pencil or the name of the product. The colors are all along the, the column here at the, at the left. And then it tells you if that color is included in that particular pencil set. So, for example, light cadmium red is in the um, 120 set of polychromos. It is not in the watercolor markers. It is in the 120 set of watercolor pencils, and it is not in watercolor pencils or pit pastel pencils. So that's good to know. Um, and what I like about it too, similar to a lot of other companies that have uh, the same color palette across all of their products. Uh, there's a few companies that do that, and that is when you know you're working, you're dealing with a quality, quality product. I think um, there's several companies. I won't even, I won't name all those companies, but there's several companies that do that. So, so that's what's in this uh, Faber Castell Try It box. This little unboxing that I've done today: pencil sharpener, well, of course, the paper eraser, uh, the two pit pens, the um, brush pen, and then the 0.1, very, very tiny, the watercolor uh watercolor marker exciting exciting du dual tip and then the three uh watercolor pencils the three polychromo people call them their polys polychromo you know poly polychromos there you go then we have um this one is just a faber castell 2b and this one is a pit graphic mat. Now, you know what? The only one I have a question about, which I'm going to have to research this, is on this pencil here, it says water-based varnish. I have to look that up and see what that means. Does anybody know? Maybe, uh, post in the comments if you know what that means. So that's my Faber-Castell uh, try it box. I'm going to put this all back together. Oh. So exciting. Uh, FedEx delivered it today. They actually tossed it onto my front step. Tossed it like he was throwing a, a, bag, a bag of feathers. I was horrified. I clutched my pearls and said, oh my goodness, what is happening? Um, so Faber-Castell, so I wanted to share this cool unboxing with you. Let me know if you've gotten this and what you think about it. Hey, talk to you soon.